Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. That is not a spot. Come on. Yes, man. sir. No, sir. You'll call the tournament director down here and he can make that call. 41's crossing the front of there. Follow him. Zark, ready to rip, Sam? What is up, I'm Maverick. Welcome back to another very exciting tournament video. If you watched yesterday, we are down at Lake Chickamauga for the NBA National Championship. Day number two today, and we are going out. We're getting everything launched here. Just a second. We're way back in the boat line. Hunter Boat's out here. Yesterday, all of our fish we found in practice pretty much vacated. We got kind of lucky. We had one spot that panned out for us, and then I caught like a random popper fish. Ended up yesterday with 15 pounds, 10 ounces, which was way more than we thought we had and way more than we thought we could scrap up when none of our other patterns produced. And that actually has us in seventh place. Leaders had 22 pounds, so we are a ways back from the lead. We're pretty much only here trying to get the dub because it's a brand new $40,000 boat. But conditions are totally different today. It was pretty much low light raining for the majority of the day yesterday. Today, hot, sunny, sticky, just like it was all practice. So hopefully, hopefully the deep fish we found in practice show up. We're gonna start off this morning, I think, on the stuff we caught up on yesterday, see if the fish are active still this morning, and maybe it's a morning bite on that spot. We didn't get there until about 10.30 yesterday. I'm gonna start my boat up because I'm about to run into another boat right now. Kind of a big cluster here. You can see a lot of boats out here behind us. And uh, day two today, I think it's gonna be a good time, Zark. You said 15 pounds a day you thought would win this tournament. Are you standing by that prediction? You bet. You heard the man. We had 15.10, so we're only gonna try to catch about 14 pounds a day. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding, we're trying to rip 20, 25, 40 pounds maybe. Zark did wanna mention that our 15 pound, 10 ounce limit yesterday did in fact weigh less than the one 16 pound, four ounce bass he <laughs> on his own. But uh, enough of me talking. Uh, the chest cam situation isn't working the best. I have some cord issues, so hopefully you guys are seeing this video right now, which means that it works throughout the day. I need to buy some new cords at the Walmart or new GoPros or something. It's always something when you don't got coleslaw. Unfortunately, you couldn't come along on this trip because you can't have a third person in the boat in the championship because they think you'll cheat. They don't trust his arc. He already rips enough fish. They let me come. They did let you come. They don't trust Cole. Yeah, that's a good point. Who does? Who does, really? Okay, let's watch it. You got a bag for your ride to catch nothing. And 30 miles later, welcome to day two of the tournament. Dark, you ready to rip some? We are fishing a little stump flat that was pretty kind to us yesterday, which means probably won't be kind to us today. Oh, there's a stump there. God, sorry, I'm done. The biggest thing has been finessing them on the stuff. I did catch one on a Gillikin Crush 50, but that's been the dude right there. Divine shaky head on a light head. And I kind of like how calm it is this morning because we can pan optics some of these trees, stumpy trees, tree stumps. Okay, crazy, crazy day, MFers. Started off fishing all the largemouth stuff. Deep fish were gone, dock fish were gone, stump fish were gone. We had nothing. We actually, what did we have, Zark? We had one fish that was like two pounds, not even two pounds off our starting spot. And then we decided to hop around. Zark caught a spotted bass that's probably a pound or so because they only gotta be 12 inches to keep. We're like, we need to make a change. We have to do something different. So we went 30 miles south this morning from takeoff. And then we blasted another 25 miles up to the dam to try to catch some smallmouth bass. And that's very risky because one, the smallmouth had to be 18 inches to keep, and two, you can only keep one per person. So we only had two fish in line, but we still need the one. By the way, chest camera broke. Both of my GoPros are broken. So I have to go buy a GoPro tonight. So we blasted up here to the dam and we got two giant smallies to go along with a spotted bass and two largemouth. Cut and then three over 17. Yeah, also. cut three smallmouth over 17 inches as well. So I think, We'll at least be coming here tomorrow, but uh, we only have an hour left before we need to blast back down to launch. And we're gonna go try to catch a largemouth to upgrade our spotted bass because we have filled our limit of smallmouth. This is insanity. I'm so jacked right now. Got a little bit of time left. Holy balls. That was crazy. We salvaged the entire day. You guys didn't get to see any of it on chest cam, any of the chest, catch the chest catches, any of the fish catches. I think what I'm gonna do though is combine today's video with tomorrow's video 
turn into one. So this would be days two and three. Just looked at the results so far of the tournament. We're on our idle now, back to the ramp to go weigh our fish. We're in the last flight. We just got in with like two minutes left, 3.40 p.m. One team does have 35 pounds, so they're gonna be a ways ahead of us. But after that, second, third place are 28, 29 pounds, which is about what we think we're probably gonna have for the two day, we hope. We're not sure what our fish weigh. I might have big-eyed those smallmouth, but I hope not. They're 19 inches, both of them, so fat 19 inches. We definitely did not lose it for ourselves today, and we very well could have. I think we would have lost it and caught three or four small large mouth in spots if we would have stayed down here and didn't make that big run. So let's go weigh them in, see what we got. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't disappointed that the uh, chest camera did not work or the dash camera. I have two GoPros with me and both of them broke today. And you guys didn't get to see what happened. We weighed 13 pounds, 14 ounces, which might not sound by like much, but I can't believe how tough this lake is fishing right now. The fish want to spawn and they have the water that's dropping. The water had just risen, so they all decided they were going to go up. And now that it is dropping, they're confused. They were already skittish. The bed fish we found in practice, they just didn't really want to lock on anything, so they were impossible to catch. And now the water is dropping. They got super, super tough. We went to all our stuff we went to before that we had found that was after our practice, which all of the practice stuff we found disappeared as well. But the stuff from yesterday that we found completely collapsed again, and we made a split-second decision to run all the way up the river and fish for some smallmouth, which again, it have to be 18 inches. You can only keep two of them, but there are largemouth in the area too. So we went up there, caught those right away, caught a decent two and a half pound largemouth, four and a half pounds, two four and a half pound smallmouth. And then we caught like three or four, three and a half pound smallmouth that weren't over 18 inches. They're super fat, but God, this is just, fishing is amazing. That's what I love about it. You literally never know what you're going to get every single day you go out there. So tomorrow, Last day of the tournament, championship day. We're in fifth place is where that left us going into it um, out of over 100 teams. And we're, we're seven pounds back or six pounds back from the lead. So we're going to have to have a really big bag. We're running up to the dam. We're going to try to catch two big smallmouth. And then we're going to try to catch three big largemouth and go from there. Um, honestly, who knows what will happen. This is Lake Chickamauga. There's 10 to 14 pound bass in this lake. And so you catch one of those, it changes everything. Today, the team that was leading it had 21 something the first day, six pounds today. So things can drop off very, very quickly. The team that's leading it now had 21 pounds the first day and 15 pounds the second day. So they dropped off by six pounds. So it's entirely possible that that could happen again. We're just trying to be consistent. Look at this guy. <laughs> God. You're a hairy son of a bitch. Hey, I don't think people got to see it at the Sixth Sense Gathering. You got a new tattoo. It's not just, you got your Bass logo over there, your Wide Gap slash EWG over there. Oh, ho, ho, ho! <laughs> Woo! Hairy Six. You got the Hair Six on the left shoulder. B. And. He got his dog pierced, too. <laughs> <laughs> I might have made that up. Maybe not. Who knows? <laughs> okay, speaking of that, tomorrow is the championship. We'll catch you guys in the morning. I'm so excited. Catch you in peace. I'm done. Can't open the door. I'm so tired from ripping lints the whole trip. You're going to catch Respucia today? <laughs> Catch some fish, sir. Okay, what's up, members? Welcome to Championship Day. It's the last day of the event. We are in fifth place going into it. First place is the forty thousand dollar boat. That's what we're going for. We're kind of at the point right now where we're seven pounds behind. We need to make a move. Yesterday we fished way up by the dam. You guys didn't get to see any of that, but we got those two big smallmouth, and we know there's a big largemouth there. So we're probably going to commit to that area. Try to get two big smallmouth because we can only keep two again, and then uh, three big largemouth to go with it. But Got a 
25 mile run this morning and it might be another bad opportunity to film this to, for you guys because it's supposed to be some pretty bad storm. So we're gonna do our best. Hopefully it pans out for us. Catch you guys up there. Bugs all over my GoPro screen. All right guys, we made it 25 miles up the river. Kind of uh, disappointed because our best spot's over there where this guide boat has four balloons hanging off the side of the boat as top waters. Trying to catch carp or something. Unsuccessfully. <laughs> what can you do? Hopefully they move in not too long, but we had a couple bites over here as well. I think the smallmouth are gonna bite today. We just gotta have the large mouth pull up and be big and be angry as well. We'll see what happens. Nope. I got it. That's what they've been doing to the swim bait. Right there. <laughs> I said, and that's what they've been doing to the swim bait. He's a keeper, actually. He's just not the one we want. He's long. Yeah, he is. The one I caught in practice here. He's got to be 18. He's 18 and a quarter or so. Beauty. I'm going to catch another one. If you guys can see what we're fishing here, but basically we got a, a little current seam going on. There's a rock point there. So the main river, the dam's right up there. It's coming down this way. It's kind of back sp spiral in there. And the rock kind of comes underneath. So the smallmouth sit right behind it. That one was not like the ones we caught yesterday. It's not fat, but it's a start. God, I wish we could just keep five smallmouth. <laughs> Now it's big over on the side. What? There you go. Nope. So they're just not as big over on this side. This guy's fatter, he's just short. Small mouth. Swim bait. This has been the deal. It's no secret. Paddle tail swim baits are kind of the deal on these Tennessee River small mouth, but six cents jig head, half ounce. Keeps it down by the rock that they're holding on, but it kind of glides nice over the top and it's a screw lock, so. I think this is like the, I've caught like 10 fish, eight fish on this one swim bait now. I locked that. I don't like the size of these. Shut up. Yup. <laughs> yup. They're here, folks. Got the goober boat out of here and now we're ready to rip some. Not a keeper. Fun though. I don't know if he'll keep or not, but he weighs more than the one in the live well. Chunker, not gonna make it. Seventeen. Better one, maybe. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Watch out, Joe. Watch out. It's giant, dude. Just strong. You can know. Good work. Keeper? Yeah. Ooh. One Just last jump. Out. One last jump. I got it. I got it. Yeah, I it. Here. Let's get us out of here quick. Same spot, man. Oh. Show that to the camera, wizard man. 
Bad. <laughs> Can't even function. Oh god. Put him down. Put him down. <laughs> Thought he was bigger than that, really. Yeah. I hit him and he and went the other way. All right, we gotta get that other small mouth out of there. And then we fish for large mouth the rest of the day. Just need one more small mouth like that one. It's easy. I kind of like this next current seam too. <laughs> no, but it's fun. <laughs> you can come off all you want, buddy. We should trade somebody at the weigh-in. We'll give you two four pound smallies for <laughs> two three and a half pound large mouth. <laughs> okay, just checked in idling back to the ramp. Now, Zark, the weather was an asshole for filming this entire trip. On the one day when it was sunny the entire day and I could have filmed, the cameras were broken anyway, so I couldn't film. So day one, it was raining, it was hard to film. Today it rained almost the entire day. You guys didn't miss much there though. Um, at the very end though, Zark did fill out our limits, so we ended up with five fish. Unfortunately, it was just a, a little keeper, but that might go a long ways today, especially if the bite was tough. We haven't really talked to anybody about how they did. Zark's looking at the weigh-in standings right now. We're the second flight in, and only a few people have weighed in. Um, I don't know what we have for a weight today. 16, around 16 pounds, we think. It's tough to tell with those smallmouth and uh, our spotted bass is a crazy, long, weird build as well, but crazy getting those swim bait bites. It sucked because had a giant one eat it and miss it, uh, and then had another one that uh, I set the hook on and it just exploded at the knot, which it's probably just my bad swinging too hard when it was 10 to 15 feet from the boat, but. 25 pound fluoro, shouldn't do that probably, unfortunate. But um, hopefully we didn't lose by a pound or two or something like that. Hopefully we, we win regardless, but I don't, I don't know if that's gonna happen. Um, we're gonna put on the trailer though, and we will catch you guys at the weigh-in, which I'm actually gonna film this time because, hey, it's sunny now, you know, because the tournament's over. Oh. Making her way up is Chris Davis Kelly Reese, South Carolina and Georgia. One fish today at 7.05. Made it, Joe? Yes, sir. One more. Yep. One. That looks way better than none, though. You can go up here and see me and say hey, we got everybody. a problem automatically, I can tell you. Yeah, so that's a spot. We talked to Randy about that already. That is not a spot. Come on, yes, man. sir. No, sir. You'll call the tournament director down here and he can make that call. But Deal. I'm, I'm telling you, that's not a spot. Yep. It's a hybrid mean mouth spot. Anybody you guys want to talk before you get off stage? Open your bag. Uh, my mom's been taking care of all those kids. I'm good. All right. Great job, guys. Appreciate you coming out this week. Thank y'all for making the trip. You make the fish I texted you about earlier. That one. Yeah, that's a nice one. Yeah, that's a nice one. That's a nice Jaws eyes not behind the jaw. I mean, that's definitely a brown fish. That's a small mouth. That's a spot right there. That's yeah. A, I texted you about that. Yeah. Yeah, because I mean, it's the short bars you said. Yeah, I would say with that dark line there, with the short lines, I'd say that's a spot. Mm -hmm. Hey, back them up. Let's go find pie. Thanks, sir. Ben Milliken, Joe McKay, 2908. 2908, five fish today. Limit of fish. Total weight is going to be for you guys, Ben and Joe. Five fish. 16 and a half pounds takes you to 46 pounds even, moves you inside the top 10 in third place. The sixth place team with 46 pounds even from Nebraska, Ben Milliken, Joe McKay, sixth place. Anybody here? Oh yeah. Did you guys miss me? You want some food? Look at that guy right there. Better get him some food. Okay, back. Been back for a couple days now um, from the tournament at Chickamauga. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. This was like the worst filming I feel like I've ever done of a major tournament because like I said, it was either raining or it was sunny and my cameras weren't working the entire tournament. Um, first and foremost, most importantly, the Zark had his surgery on his neck and he says that it went well and he's feeling much better already. So, 
Got some good pain meds. Uh, he's laid up, can't work actually for I think four to six weeks or six to eight weeks or something like that. So I'll keep the well wishes coming for uh, Mr. Zark. Hopefully we can get better and get back down here to uh, Texas and start doing some tournament fishing and some filming with us down here. We'll be going back home, of course, too. Um, spending some time in Nebraska. A couple times, more than a couple times per year. But um, quick recap of the tournament. Obviously, we were very disappointed in the result of the tournament. Um, it's kind of hard for us to be like, everyone always has a story, of course, like, oh, in practice, we found a spot, found a spot. Well, we, we did have some really good patterns going that uh, Zark found 20 to 25 or even bigger pounds of bass found uh, of limits. And it was also frustrating that um, we couldn't keep smallmouth. We couldn't keep more than two smallmouth because we were throwing back a 19 to 20 pound limit of smallmouth every single day and that's only the last two days and we only spent a couple hours trying to fish for smallmouth we legitimately could have caught 20 to 22 pounds of smallmouth every single day it took 61 pounds to win the tournament which by the way uh, you guys didn't see this but a team on the last day caught a 33 pound limit three of those um, were two eight pound nine ounce fish and a seven pound 15 ounce fish caught on a freaking topwater a berkeley chapo craziness so those guys were right around where we were but they kind of ended up blowing the event away one by six pounds with 61 pounds um like you guys heard we were in sixth place and we did spark a little bit of controversy so what happened was we can only keep those two smallmouth and so we, we caught our two smallmouth and then we go up and we start fishing for largemouth i'm throwing like a seven inch line through swim bait and see this is what happens when you come in here the, the bluegill all think that you're going to feed them. So they roll in here and then the bass start picking them off. And so that's exactly what's happening right now. I should be fishing and not talking to you guys. But okay, so what the controversy was, was that we caught our two smallmouth and we start fishing for largemouth. I'm throwing that swim bait and we get around to some slack water where the largemouth like to be right next to the, the moving water. And like one of the first casts with it just gets crushed. I bow up on it and it jumps. I'm like, largemouth, awesome net zark net net and so I'm, I'm just grinding to the boat get in the net and i'm like sweet large mouth and it was like a four and a half pounder and zark puts in the net and i like turn around i get the troll motor set up i spot lock us and stuff and i look back i'm like that's a small mouth how did it turn into a damn small mouth and zark's like no look at its mouth it's got a big mouth on it and look at the markings and so we start looking at it and we're like that's some type of hybrid um or, or something going on with it but it's not a straight small mouth it's definitely not a large mouth and it looks a little bit different than a spotted bass and it seemed like it's too big for a spot because it's like four and a half pounds so we start looking at it looking at it and we start to realize it's some type of a spotted bass smallmouth hybrid um and so we sent a picture of it and i messaged the tournament director and i was like yo this is the situation we already got our two smallmouth you can only keep two smallmouth but then i just caught this one what does this fish count as if it's a hybrid and he said you know it, it looks like the bars on the side of it are the shorter bars not the long bars like the smallmouth have which would be a spotted bass um it also has a tooth patch on its tongue which spotted bass have and it counted the number of spines in the back which i don't know how many meant what but he um confirmed before i went into weigh in um that that was in fact a spotted bass spotted bass was a 12 inch length limit which that was like a 21 and a half inch fish and you can keep five of them if you wanted to so no limit on spotted bass so got lucky with that um and, and we were able to weigh that one in so we had to stop the tournament when we went in there the weigh master didn't believe me that i talked to the director and that it was a uh, a spotted bass not a smallmouth and so i had to stop the tournament had the tournament director come over there and he did once again confirm that it was a spotted bass is how it was going to be counted for the tournament interesting situation um would have been a big difference in our our weight for for what we brought in if we had four and a half pounds less plus whatever penalties so we're happy that that worked out um i didn't talk about it too much um i busted off a giant large mouth on a hook set and got crushed way far back in a, a slack water area on the swim bait too on a seven inch swim bait and didn't connect with it so who knows what we would have had but we lost by 16 pounds overall or 15 pounds or something so wouldn't have made up the difference regardless uh next time hopefully we will get it done i've already been out on lake conroe doing some fish in the last couple days i'm on some good fish there and so i'm hoping to get going with the tournaments let me know if you guys want to see more tournament videos down here in texas um those are tuesday night thursday night and of course weekend tournaments at conroe we got tournaments at rayburn coming up so we can fish all over the place and you guys know tournament fishing is is my number one love um so hopefully many more of those to come let me know what you want to see thanks for watching this one home efforts Catch us soon.